My name is Eileen. I'm the social marketing coordinator here at Hootsuite. This means I create and manage content for our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook channels. I primarily work on our TikTok channel from everything from strategy to execution. Hootsuite's TikTok strategy is ever-changing. Just how the algorithm and the platform constantly changes, we adapt our strategy to remain innovative and competitive. We have four main content pillars. The first one is relatable. This is content that social media managers, marketers, and SMBs can relate to. The second one is aspirational. This features our beloved Ali that's humorous and just fun to watch. The third one is inspirational. These are videos that focus on thought leadership from our blog posts. They also feature different product releases and product launches. We like to feature our product as much as possible in this content bucket so our audience is familiar with how to use the software. And the last one is informative. These are category knowledge drops that focus on topical news, big social media updates, and a breakdown of what's trending on social media. So we use these four content buckets to help us with our thought process when building out our content calendar month by month. We have a variety of ways we use to come up with different content ideas. The first one is scrolling through our For You page and following different brand accounts that we draw inspiration from. I recommend searching the hashtag brand talk to see what trends other brands are hopping on. The second one is jumping on trending content. I would say more than 50% of the content you see on your For You page are trends and videos that use trending songs, so definitely look into that. The third one is hosting TikTok brainstorming sessions with your team. This is what we do here at Hootsuite, and just having someone to bounce ideas off of is where the best ideas come to light. TikTok is a unique app that definitely deserves its own strategy, so we like to be very playful on the app and very playful with our copy as well. So we would write copy that's a bit more cheeky and fun compared to LinkedIn that has a host of working professionals. So we definitely prioritize thought leadership and content that's more educational. We have a highly engaged audience on TikTok, so we like to be proactive with our comments and even do video responses every now and then. When it comes to response to comments, we like to talk to them as if they're a friend to kind of have a more personal connection. So we have three objectives and a couple of KPIs that support those different objectives. The first one is engagement, and this is tracked through our engagement rate, the average watch time, the number of likes, comments, and saves we receive, and the percentage of users that watch the video the full way through. The second objective is awareness. This is to display our fun company culture, and this is showcased through the percentage of users that have watched the video from the For You page, which is a really good metric to track. The last one is social first. So this is appearing as leaders in the space of social media. This is tracked through the number of leads we get and our customer sentiment. So this sounds cheesy, but it's definitely to be yourself. TikTok is, isn't the app where you need to embellish your achievements or really push the product onto users. People call on TikTok to find content that's relatable and humorous. So definitely don't be afraid to poke fun at the company and just display the fun side of your brand. One common mistake that I see a lot of people doing is making videos that are way too long. My rule of thumb is to keep videos short and sweet, start with hook, deliver value right away, and add a CTA if possible. I personally like to keep my videos under 30 seconds so it's easy for people to watch and they're more likely to watch the video the whole way through. It's definitely to keep testing. You're not gonna find what format is gonna give you viral success overnight, so it's more of a test and adapt approach. So get your feet wet, start, posting, start creating content, play around with the different filters, effects, and audios that you find on the app. With the rebrand came the new Alley that we wanted to launch to the world. So that's when the idea of collaborating with Emily Zagay, who's known for redesigning iconic logos, came in mind. So she created a video where she redesigned our old Alley and we stitched the video with our new Alley. As a result, the video uh, sits over 800,000 views and we gain more than 2,000 followers as a result. So if you're looking for a quick la laugh, I highly recommend you check it out. Hootsuite's blog offers a bunch of different resources I highly re recommend you check out. Everything from creating your first TikTok, how to edit it, hashtags to use, and the best time to post, they really have it all. And if you're ready to start posting on TikTok, Hootsuite offers the ability to publish TikToks, monitor your comments, and analyze your metrics. So if you're looking for a way to streamline that entire process, this is where it's at. And lastly, shameless plug to follow us on TikTok if you're looking for more brand inspo.